The HPD recruit graduation just wrapped up at McKinley High School, so let's go back to Howard Dushevsky with an update on today's officer-involved shooting. Howard. All right, Marissa, thank you very much. Chief Ballard just came out to us, and uh, Chief, uh, I know you have a statement you want to share with all of us. Yes, uh, unfortunately, about shortly after 3 p.m., an armed male um, entered a Kauai House Street business looking for a female employee. She wasn't present. However, he continued to threaten several other employees and he opened fire and he fired a single round into the ground. He also attempted to set the business on fire before he drove away. The officers identified the possible suspect and he began, they began searching for him. And based on the information provided, the officers went to several locations and we were able to locate the suspect. We caught him in the, the parking lot of the, of the uh, location where his resident was in the truck that he was using. He was ordered to exit the vehicle, which he did, and as he exited the vehicle and faced the officer, he pulled a firearm from his waistband and pointed it at the officer. One of our officers returned, fired several shots at the suspect, um, and he's been taken to a local hospital in critical condition, and that's pretty much all we have right now. You had a press conference earlier today regarding the shooting that happened last night in Midilani, and you specifically said if these people pay attention, if they do what the officers ask, this wouldn't happen. Uh, it's another case, but it, it illustrates the danger that your officers are facing, ironically, on a night where you swear in 23 brand new officers. It really is, and you know, the question came up, um, am I concerned, I, you know, earlier in the, pre in the earlier press conference, it is. And I mean, we're seeing more violence against the officers, not just here in Hawaii, but on the mainland as well. And it's, it, it's unnecessary. Just listen to the officers, pay attention, um, and do what they say, and you know, I mean, everything will come out fine. Are you providing officers any additional training? Are, there, are you having more just discussions? I, I heard you today before, you administered the oath, uh, not you, but another gentleman, telling them that every time they go on a call and they meet a man, they meet a woman or a child, take the time to meet them. These are the citizens. These ultimately try to develop relationships. How, how increasingly difficult is that becoming? You know, the majority of our population, and I would dare say like 98, 99 percent of the people out here on this island, they support our officers. And, the, and that's what we're talking about is reconnecting with the community. You know, talk to people, let people get to know you as a person, not just as an officer. Um, you know, and hopefully this type of relationship, you know, we can build not only with the older population, but also now with the youth, um, getting more involved with youth programs, talking to our kids, um, and let them know that we're just people too, like everybody else. And, you know, it, this is family. This isn't the way Hawaii was, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. And it's just sad to see the changes that are coming about, and we really want to turn that around. Chief, just getting back to tonight's incident, do you know why uh, the suspect went to that uh, uh, shop over on Kauai House Street. It's still under investigation. I know that um, he was looking for a former employee who was there, um, and but that's all that we have at this time. Unfortunately, you know, we haven't. We were kind of scuttling, uh, trying to hurry to get something together for you folks tonight. Any information on him having a TRO or a TRO that she put against him? I don't have that information right now, but um, as you know, obviously we're going to be tomorrow morning. We'll be getting releasing more information as we get it um, from this case. We saw undercover officers there. Uh, was it the uh, crew, the crime reduction unit again, that found the suspect out there in Waikele? Yes, it was. It was our, and you know, and it's one thing about our crime reduction unit. You know, they are the plain clothes, but you know, they're the ones who we we go to when we're really trying to locate people because they really have the pulse of what's going on out there. I mean, as well as our patrol officers, but you know, obviously, plain clothes you can get to places where the patrol officers cannot. Can you clarify, tell was it a single, um, a single officer involved in the shooting? Yes, it was just one officer who, we know who how shot. Many shots were discharged? It was approximately three to four shots from what we know right now. What can you tell us about the suspect? Um, all I know is that he's a 37-year-old uh, male, um, and I, I'm not, I have not had a chance to run his rap yet. That'll be information that we can get to you first thing tomorrow morning. And do we know where he was hit by those bullets? Uh, from my understanding, it was in the chest area. And as far as you know, he uh, has not deceased. He's at a local hospital. Do you know the condition? Still in critical condition. Okay. Yeah. No officers hurt, obviously. No, no officers were injured. Then. Was there an injury at the uh, Kauai House uh, business? The owner was uh, burned slightly from the fire that was started.
So the man, we understand the man did have gasoline, so he did actually ignite a fire at the location? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that was extinguished quickly without any damage? Uh, I, I'm sure that there was damage. I don't know the extent of the damage to the business, but I, my understanding is the owner was able to uh, put, the, put the fire out. Did tonight's event take on any particular meaning for you uh, in light of what's happened over the past 48 hours or, or even the last week, uh, the, the third law enforcement officer shooting with the sheriff at the Capitol last night and tonight? Uh, obviously, it weighs heavily on your mind the gentlemen that took the oath, or and ladies, there were female officers as well, and the families that are in the stands uh, looking to you for some type of reassurance. Um, you know, this job, you know, this is the best island to, to work for. I mean, we're still the safest big city, you know, in the United States, one of the big, I would say the safest. Um, you know, and these things happen, and the main thing is, is that, you know, for our officers, we train them to always keep their eyes open and always to be aware. Not that everyone is out to get you, but you always have to have, you know, your eyes and your ears open um, and be aware of your surroundings, especially in this type of case where it's a suspect, so, and you know that a gun was involved, so you put those two and two together, you're going to make daggum sure that you're, you're extra careful, and that's the training that these officers that just re uh, graduated tonight got, um, as well as the officers who are currently currently employed with the police department. Do you have the identity, of, the identity of the man shot Monday night at the Capitol yet? Uh, no, it has not been released by the uh, medical examiner's office yet, from my understanding, at least from the time I left this afternoon. What, what commands were the, um, was the suspect given today, in today's incident, uh, prior to uh, the officer discharging? I don't have the exact commands. I'm sure that they told him to step away from the truck and, and to raise his hands or, you know, so that they could see the hands. And he was outside of the truck? Yes, he stepped outside of the truck and he initially appeared to be cooperative until he turned and um, pulled the weapon on the officers. And crew units uh, do not wear body cameras, so there is no videotape of this particular incident, I assume? No, not at this time. And the uh, uh, crew units will at some time, at some point, have the body cameras. Uh, but, you know, this in this particular incident, they did not, they have not issued them to them yet. Thank you, Chief. Chief. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. You. Uh, Honolulu Police Chief you. Susan Ballard stepping outside Thank and spending you. some time talking with us. And again, the irony of the moment, having just literally come out of welcoming 23 new recruits that uh, went through the course. If you followed uh, police history here in the 50th state, you know that Honolulu Police Chief uh, training is among the best in the country. These recruits, when they enter into the actual department, are among some of the most highly trained officers. A lot of money is spent to make sure that they go through all the rigorous training. And again, with everything that's happened in the 48 uh, hours leading up to this particular swearing in tonight, um, a very poignant uh, swearing in for these officers who will take the street knowing that they, as the chief said, need to keep their eyes and ears open, keeping the community safe, at the same time, keeping their self safe. For now, we're going to send it back to the studio. Bridget Marissa, I'm reporting live from McKinley High School. We send it back to you. Howard, thank you. And if you're just joining us, Chief Susan Ballard just wrapped up a press conference talking about today's officer-involved shooting. Started around 3 o'clock this afternoon at a business in Kabayaha'o. She says that a man went to that business looking for a former employee. She wasn't there. Uh, he threatened some of the workers that were there. He fired a shot into the ground um, and then also threatened to burn the place. He, he did start uh, a small fire. The owner of that business was injured. Uh, police put out an APB. They went searching throughout the island. They did find him in Waikele in the truck that they were looking for. Uh, they made a command to, for him to step out of the vehicle. He at first seemed cooperative, but then he uh, drew a gun, and that's when police opened fire at him. Uh, they say he's a 37-year-old male. No officers were injured. We are told that the man is in critical condition. Officers did fire about three to four shots. He was shot in the chest area. And Marissa, I did go out to this scene. And according to witnesses, they did smell a very strong smell of gasoline emanating from even outside across uh, the street. So it's good to know that... Uh, um, Everyone is okay so far. We did speak with the owners of Advanced Auto Collision, and they say, of course, they're shaken up, but they both are doing fine. And we'll have much more on this when our news continues.